taking a look right now at the results for Fulton County Sheriff. Sheriff Patrick Labatt, the incumbent leading the way right now with 54% of the vote. So uh, we are going to uh, hear from him of hopefully in the future with what he hopes to accomplish in a second term, especially when it comes to a big issue for so many folks improving the conditions at the county jail. Well, I'm ready to take off and fly, all right? It's, it's so many times during my first term, there were a lot of political uh, genre or, or rhetoric about me being a first-term sheriff. We got a lot of things accomplished when people thought we couldn't. Out of 3,700 people with 600 people sleeping on the floor, now there's nobody sleeping on the floor. So we've done a really good job of partnering with our justice partners, but now the next chapter. And we want to get back now to our Faith Zessi and Zach Merchant, along with our 11 Alive political team and analysts, uh, to talk about this race and some others. Yeah, tonight, Howard Franklin and Mark Roundtree joining us. You guys have been with us since 7 o'clock. We're so excited to have you here. We're talking about this race for Fulton County Sheriff. We know that the sheriff has been in the news because a lot about this Rice Street facility, the jail, Zach. It is, and we've been following this race all night. Sheriff Patrick Labatt up with about 54% of the vote so far. Not yet a called race though. How likely is it, Howard, that we see a runoff here? He has, after all, three challengers in the Democratic primary. I think it's actually really impressive that he's been able to clear a 54% bar for at least most of this evening, considering that he's had these three challengers and they've been nipping at his heels the entirety of this race. So I, I think he's gonna win this without a runoff, but I, I, only time will tell. I have no idea why they don't call, the like AP hasn't called this race. I just have looked over all the precinct results, not all of them, but a lot of them, and he consistently is carrying above 50% in most of them all over G geographically all over the county, so I don't know what they're waiting for. And we know that, that the sheriff has been in the office for about three years, first in there in 2021. He's campaigning on several things, including cleaning up that jail. That's right. A lot to keep an eye on, though, and Mark, as you mentioned, you have some questions why it hasn't yet been called. But it hasn't been, so we are going to continue to keep an eye on this with our political roundtable here. But for now, we want to set it back to you all.